Gabriella Greif, a physical therapist and licensed running rehabilitation specialist from GC, GG Physical Therapy out of Dallas, Texas. I'm gonna show you guys a follow-up from one of my previous videos on the benefits of strength training for runners. We're gonna dive into a couple of strength training exercises. So just to recap, a few benefits to strength training for runners is we always move as runners in one plane. We're just moving forward. That doesn't give us the opportunity to engage other muscle groups. It starts to fatigue those muscle groups when done repetitively over time. So by incorporating strength training, you improve performance, increase endurance, and reduce the risk of injury, just to name a few. So I'm gonna show you guys four different exercises. We'll go over these um, at a slow pace, but kind of quickly. So if you guys have any questions after this video, please do reach out to me via email or Instagram. So the first one, we're gonna do a single leg deadlift with a hip opener. So you're gonna be standing on one leg here. You're gonna straighten out your back leg. You're gonna kick back here. You're gonna open up that hip and then come back to standing. So again, straightening this back leg here, going down into your single leg deadlift. So leading with this back leg, trunk follows, core is tight. You're gonna open up here and then come back down to that standing position. So this is definitely not one of my strengths. As you can see, we're gonna straighten, rotate up, and then come back down. So by rotating up, you're engaging more of your rotator muscles through that hip, which challenges you more, um, especially if you like catch an edge or catch a curb or catch a rock running, you now have that hip control to improve it. So just from the side, so you guys can see, you're gonna straighten one leg, you're kicking out, you're rotating up, and then coming back to standing. And last time, kicking out, rotating up, and coming back to standing. In terms of reps for these exercises, you're looking at at least two sets of eight, if not three sets of eight. The more you do, um, the more you're gonna improve your endurance and your strength, but you have to build up that tolerance. So the next one, I'm using a resistance band here. You do not need a resistance band. However, it makes exercise a little bit more challenging. So this is a medium resistance band. You use what you can do to your tolerance. So we're gonna do what we call a standing fire hydrant to a knee drive. You're gonna be standing on one leg. You're kicking out your opposite leg a little bit out to the side. You're coming back and popping up into that knee drive. So you're kicking out and up, out, and up, looking for two to eight on each side. The next one, you need a step at the bare minimum. You can always stack up books if you do not have a step at home. I'm using weight for this exercise. It makes it a little bit more challenging. Um, I recommend dumbbells if you have. If not, you can use whatever you have lying around the house, maybe like two uh, laundry detergent um, cases. So you're gonna have one foot on the step, one foot's gonna be on the ground. Here, what we're gonna do is perform a heel raise. So this step's quite high. The lower the step is, the more challenging it's gonna be. So you're going up on those toes and then back down. You can even put a little bend in your knee, work your soleus muscle so you get a different muscle group. So I would do this knee bent and then knee straight. If this is, if you want more of a challenge, you could always turn this into a heel raise and then a step up. So heel raise to a step up, and then add our movement into it to give you that extra little bit of challenge. So we're going heel raise here, step up here, good, heel raise, step up. So that's gonna start to engage your core a whole lot more and get that whole, um, all those running muscles fired and working appropriately. So the last one we'll do here, again, I like to hold weight with this. You do not need weight if you don't have it nearby. We're gonna do forward uh, walking lunges and backward walking lunges. You wanna make sure you incorporate those backward walking lunges to help get that posterior chain fired. So your glutes and your hamstrings, all those muscles that are sometimes not efficient when running or used efficiently when running. So holding that weight at your chest, you're gonna go into a forward lunge Drive that knee up, go ahead and rotate to that outside leg, step down, back.
back into a lunge, rotate to that side. And then you're gonna step back. Same thing, rotate to that standing leg. So, lunge. Contact me via email or Instagram. I hope this helps. 